The amount of like filtration and plumbing that goes into this is insane. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. Little pops and I grow them out. <laughs> Six digits. Yep. Oh, <laughs> golly. So this is the largest breeding facility in the U.S. for stingrays. 100%. Dang. We're getting to experience something crazy here. Guys, drop a like. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video here. Today, as you saw in the little bit of snippet you got there in the intro, this place is ridiculous. We are at Kevin's place today. I met Kevin through Rodrigo, and Rodrigo's here as well. Rodrigo is the owner of Predatory Fins, a store that I go to a lot locally where I live. I'm going to tour you around this place. He's going to explain all the different types of stingrays. There's a one and only here. This stingray has never been seen anywhere else in the world. There's, there's multiple things that I'm going to show you today. Have you been here before? So he's been here how many times? This is your second time? Second time. Second time. And then what was your first initial like, oh my gosh? Uh, I was like, how is this real? I this is this is only that I can't show that yet. No, no, not yet. Let, let, let's let Kevin do that. But there's an unbelievable amount of stingrays in here. And this is just one room. There's another room up there. There's a room over there. This room's everywhere. So are these just like what they put the pups in? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Hey guys, sorry about that. Hey Kevin. Alright, nice, nice to meet you. Guys. This is the Caferos, the ones watching. And uh, I guess you're just gonna be the one to show us around today, aren't you? Yeah, no problem, no problem. So you wanna start right here, and yeah. we'll work our way that way, and then come loop right around and end up right here again? No problem. All right. I'm right in here. I'm Kevin Way, from yep. Center for Stingray Biology. And uh, what we do here is we breed freshwater stingrays. I focus on um, all different higher end type of rays uh, to cater to the aquarium and hobbyist market. So. What we got here are my bigger breeders. Yep. Uh, these are black diamond stingrays right here. Um, oh my gosh. And the pattern is like different than I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. We try to do uh, things that are more different and um, more unique. So, yeah, for sure. You know, to appeal to the, the hobbyist eyes. Oh my gosh, dude, they're beautiful. Yeah, these are hybrids. And how many uh, pups come out at, at a time? Um, depending on how mature the female is. Yeah. Um, a young female might put out maybe two or three pups oh, okay. the first time around. Yeah. And as they get bigger and older, they can put out anywhere between six to even twelve. Oh, and, and moly. depends on the strain also. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. Okay, so we got some hybrids here. What are some? Hi! Say You're hi on YouTube. You YouTube. Hi. hi. High five? Hey. You know what that is, right? What's his name? Cam. Cam? No, that, that's your name. What's his name? Paul. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and what's his name? Rico. Rico. Hey. <laughs> so this is really cool. We got a bunch of uh, these looks like these are hybrids. You said right? Yes, those are hybrids. And uh, what are those mixed between? Just two. Uh, they're actually coming. From, this is the mother. Okay. Yeah, we're getting ready for feeding. We're gonna do that right now. After uh, this. No. We'll do the tour and then do this? Yeah, let's do the tour and then we're gonna feed. I love how the water is crystal clear. Crystal clear blue. I'll do my best. Um, more black diamonds like this. And how do, you, how do you mix them? Is these all males? These are all females? Okay, how so does that work? That's a male right there. Because you can see the two. The two claspers. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And that's another male right there. Yep. And then the rest are females. So you got five females and two males in here. Yes, we always have more females to males. You yep. know, the males are able to mate yep. multiple females. Exactly. So we've already started down there and we've worked our way to right here. Yeah, this is tank number five. Um, these are also, um, it's a type of black diamond hybrid. They're big spots. Yep. Um, we're called, uh, uh, the people call them super white hybrids. Mm -hmm. um, for the whiter color, and uh, more uniform spotting and uh, the, the, the round is to the spots. Yeah, tank number six, I got two females in the floating cage. Yep. It's separated from the male. There's one male down here. You can see through yeah, the, see the, through the glass bottom. This is cool, now we get the side panel view. Yeah, see that one right there, it's pregnant. You see the big oh, yeah, hump over yeah. the back. Wow, you could really, really tell. I was gonna ask you why it's so big like that. I think if you can stay still, you might even see the back rippling. Those are the babies inside moving. Now, when, she eventually does release the pups, right? Yes. Where did, what happens? These guys will probably try to eat them, the males, right? Um, I'm fairly successful yeah. uh, where they, they don't uh, bother. Sometimes it happens you yep. know, because they see a little pup and they're hungry and they might go after it, but they're not intentionally trying to like attack it or kill exactly. it or anything. And by the time you get here, you have enough time to really net yeah, them out. Yeah, I mean, usually I come in in the morning, the first thing I do is walk around, look for exactly, babies. Exactly, yeah. And you have a net. 
dedicated to every single tank. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, that is for... Cross-contamination reasons. Yep. You know, I, I like to keep everything separated, you know, so you don't pass germs or, or bacteria or viruses uh -huh. between tanks. Yep. You know. Smart. Uh, and it's also Smart convenient. way of doing it. Yeah. I don't have to run around everywhere looking for a net. Exactly. I have one right there. Right boom, 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 boom. That's exactly. all it takes. And here's some pups right here. How old are these right here? Those, I think, are about uh, five months. Five months? Wow. So they don't grow fast. Uh, yeah, I think a, a good growth rate is about an inch a month. Yeah. And they're normally born at about like four and a half to five inches. You know, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, these guys are a little bit slower. And I have more babies up here. Oh, wow. You didn't even see. Oh, those are pretty. I like those ones. So cool. And then there's more right here. Oh, these are really tiny. Yeah. Look how tiny that one is. Yeah, that one's about four inches, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is pretty cool. At the same time you guys are figuring all this out and learning, I'm doing the same. I'm learning myself. That's why I'm asking questions, not only to bring you guys knowledge, but myself as well. I want to know some more about this. All right, Kev, on to the next one. All right, so these are some grow outs. Yep. Okay, um, I, I select what I think has uh, certain characteristics that I want in future breeders. Mm -hmm. So these are selected grow outs that will be on my next generation of breeders. There we go. You know, I go for more spots, brighter color. Yep. You know. Um, Bigger pattern. white spots. Exactly. Yeah. And you, it definitely stands out. Yeah, for sure. That's so cool. Oh, that one's beautiful. Yeah. That's my favorite in the, of the group. Yeah, me too. Awesome. And there's some more pups. Yeah, more pups there. Now, do you know why they're called pups? Because I, I'm I, honestly, curious. Honestly, I don't know. I, mean, just, I guess they refer to it like yeah. dogs. You yep. know, and you got a litter of babies. Pups, pups yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that one's huge. Yes. Uh, this type is called uh, Bosmani stingray. Uh, they come from Suriname. It's uh, one of the newer uh, species discovered, uh, maybe about uh, six, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they became available for um, export about uh, two and a half years ago. So we acquired a bunch of these uh, for, for breeding purposes. Gotcha. Yeah. Interesting. There's a story behind every little thing here. Oh, yeah. And it's awesome. Now, I want to show them the datnoid. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is the biggest datnoid I've ever seen in my life. Now, this is a certain type of datnoid, right? Yeah, these are uh, the Siamese tiger. Siamese tiger from Thailand. Yeah. And there's like, they're not no longer in the wild, correct? Yes. You can almost impossible to find in the wild. Dude, that's huge. Let me just give you a size comparison. It's got to be pregnant. Uh, yeah, it's carrying a lot of eggs. Yeah. It's egg I've never seen any datnoid that big in my life. I'm just trying to give a size comparison. This is my hand. Come here. Please, come here. Oh my gosh, it won't tell because it's far, it's kind of far into the tank. And that fish could probably go for a lot of money. A lot of money, a yeah. Lot. Like tens of thousands. Woohoo! So now that you saw this part of the facility, we're going to move on to the next one, which is just straight through this little uh, cut down wall here. And here we are. Now we're a lot into more of a, an aquarium look. Yes, yes. Um, it's more compartmentalized, uh, different types of species that I want to focus on. You know, so it's more aquarium-like setting. Yeah, it's awesome. awesome. Good stuff. So I guess we could start out with this beautiful. Is this a pearl? Yes, this is a golden base albino pearl ray. Holy moly. Yeah, there's two types of albino pearl rays. There's a red type and a golden type. So this is she is the pregnant? Type. Uh, she she's could pretty be. fat. Yeah. And she's got two, what kind of rays are those, the other ones? Those are pearls also. Okay, just not albino. Yeah, but they're genetic carriers, they're, they're heterozygous. So when they breed, I will be able to produce 25% albino pups from that. Oh my gosh, there's so much to know. It's like endless knowledge. Whoa, look at this filtration we got going on here, holy moly. And you said you made these tanks. Yes, you you I, siliconed everything? Uh, yes, this is acrylic. Um, it's it's, it's uh, bonded by uh, acrylic cement. Yep. Yeah, uh, I like to design my own filtration system. To That's awesome. Cater to the need of the, the fish. Mm -hmm, for sure. This is the mechanical side. This is a drum filter, uh, stainless steel screen. Yeah. So the water passes through it and it captures the dirt. And there's a, there's a float sensor in there. So when it gets dirty, it'll trigger the sensor and clean. Uh, but I'll manu manually trigger the sensor. Why don't you come over here yeah. and you can see it. I'll hold this open for it's you. It's going to splash your camera wet. Ready? Yep. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then that cleans it for you. Yeah, and the waste goes out that tray. See that tray? Everything is so easy to work. It's amazing. I, I guess that's what you got to do when you have hundreds of thousands yeah, of dollars. Yeah, it's too many tanks and it's too much work. Too much money work. So you got to mess up your. It's exactly. Over. It's so. done. And look at what we got here. One and only. 
So what is that? This is an albino Bosmani stingray. So Only it, one in the world, oh wild caught. Gosh. I got this thing when it was four inches. It's Practically huge now. Pup, yeah. yeah. It's been and about two and a half years. Is that and that is an expensive stingray, isn't it? It's very expensive. Six digits, right? Six digits. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Golly. Let me get a different view. Okay. Well, you're familiar with reptiles, right? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in the reptile business, uh, there's a type of animal called piebalds. Yeah, so yes. This is yeah. piebald stingray. Ah. These are piebald pearl stingrays. Wow. I like the look. Look at that. The look is controversial. Some people yeah, like it, some, some people, people don't like yeah, it. Yeah. Because it, it looks dirty like it's, or yeah, diseased. Or diseased. Or, yeah, yeah, I, I could but definitely tell. The appreciation is how pure the white is. Oh, very, very. It's like platinum. Yes. And that's the appeal of it. So the goal here is to try to um, selectively breed it to get more and more white out of it. Then yep. I think it'll become a prettier fish. See, really, like, here's really one cool. of the pups. Oh yeah, that's a little better. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's gotta be a good feeling when you get a pup. Yeah. And it's something you've been working towards for so that's long. The reward of the whole thing, just like your piglets, right? Exactly. It's amazing. Exactly. It's an amazing feeling. Look at that. And what are these ones right here? These are snow leopards. Snow leopards? Yeah, these are pups from the uh, from those guys down there. Oh my goodness. I think I ain't even gonna lie, besides that one obviously, these are my favorite. Yeah, a lot of people like this. this the is pattern also, is unreal. It's a very rare fish as well. Now, I want you guys to go down in the comments down below and comment your favorite stinger that we've seen so far. You can wait off on it until the end of the video and then comment, so you can comment the one that you really do think is the coolest. I'm saying the snow leopard, dude. Yeah. That's, like so far, that is my favorite. That one or the obviously the six digit one over there. Not just because of how much money it's cost, but it's only one and only. Yeah. It's the only one in the world. Look at all the pups. Yeah, so see, these are brown, normal color ones. Yeah. And then these are yellow. These are the albino ones. Mm -hmm. And um, when we breed uh, heterozygos, which are the brown version, or the normal color version that are genetic carriers, <clears throat> There's a percentage that will come out albino. Yeah. So that's why you see in this basket, some are albino and some are not. Now, how long have you been doing this for? <laughs> I think uh, breeding itself, almost 10 years. Oh my God. Uh, but I've been keeping rays a lot longer than yeah. that. It's a, a work in progress, always learning and, and learning from your mistakes and, and yep. your successes. And then you, you know, just build from there. Uh -huh. Albino breeders as well. But these are actual albino fish. So when these breed, you get 100% albino pups. Whereas oh. over there, I only get 25%. Yeah. Because those are carriers, but these are actual albinos. That is just insane. And they have their barbs still. Yes. That thing ought to me mess you up. And these little ones have the barb too? Yes. Could they, they get you? They all have the barbs. I've been stung maybe once or twice, but I'm very careful. Yeah. Wow. The amount of like filtration and plumbing that goes into this is insane. Just look at the wall. Look at this. I don't think and, we've seen those yet and today. And those are other ones are Brazilian Matoros. So marble Matoros, they got the typical uh, Matoro spot and then they got the black patterning which is referred to the marbling. These are uh, originally from Colombia, um, but these are captive bred stock. They, okay. They're already a few generations in, um, selectively bred for um, very intense pattern. And these are Brazilian Matoro hybrids, so it's a lighter base color with uh, you know white, more white spots. Mm -hmm. So, dang, dude, there's so many different patterns and species of it. It's mind blowing. Yeah, uh, in many ways, uh, the stingray um, breeding process follows reptiles. So yeah, actually, I, I get a lot of my information by googling reptile breeders and all their past experiences with the genetics and stuff yeah. like that and I apply it to So genetic wise, stuff. it's pretty similar, you think? Yes, yes, a lot of the stuff is similar. Huh. Dang. I've never been to a stingray facility. Really? Never it's in my life. Time? Yeah, Rod just invited me and I was like, I gotta come check this out. Learn some stuff. And I am doing just that, let me tell you. Holy tanks, this is insane. I just want one of these things. <laughs> so this is like your little pup room right here. Yeah, basically, smaller tanks. I yep. put all these little pups and I grow them out. <laughs> One of my favorites here. 
it's a it is a black diamond hybrid, the big spot variant. Uh -huh. the, the amount of spots on it, it's insane. You can't even squeeze another spot on there if you wanted to. I was just about to say there ain't much room to even get another one if you needed it. Yeah, check out from the top down. It's look at that. Holy moly. So the cycle just continues, correct? Yes. So you'll always have pups, you'll always have adults. The adults will just, what do you do with the adults? How long do they live, typically? Oh my goodness, they live a long time. I think my oldest Ray is probably like over 20 years. So you think you're gonna need to expand from here eventually? I'm trying not to expand. Yeah. You know, the overhead just gets higher and but, higher. So you're just gonna try to sell the pups? Yes, yes okay. I have to sell the pups. Okay, because I, then these grow and then you have more. Yeah, my problem is, a big portion of this is a hobby for me as well. Yeah, and you don't so want to get so rid of them. So many stuff yeah. here that I want to keep. Yeah. I'm running out of space. I get you. So that is it for the little front. And of course, I'm kind of skimming through it pretty fast here. And oh my goodness. So it's another room of grow outs. Like yep. I said, see, I have so much stuff I want to keep. So check it the out. amount of filtration is just like mind blowing. Did you explain to him how that works? Yeah, I explained on the on the yeah. system already. It's just endless. Endless amounts. Look at this. Oh wow. How big do they have to be before they can have pups? Um, it's a combination of size and age. Yep. Um, depending on the type of race, Matoros tend to breed at a younger age at pearls, uh, around a year and a half. Gotcha. And then uh, black rays, you need maybe about two to three years, mm -hmm. and roughly about 15 to 16 inches before you start getting your first pups. Mm. Next facility, which will be next video, you're gonna see monster fish. Yes. So we got monster we're fish gonna coming. Back. Then we're yes. gonna be shipping back to predatory fins. So there's a lot to come. We're here in LA right now. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I do need to go get my phone to do the positive comment shout out. Thanks again, Kevin. No Appreciate problem. it, man. That was awesome. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to Game Navir. You are a great person and a YouTuber. I think I'm a YouTuber. Maybe I'm a, am I? I don't know. You've inspired me to keep aquarium and fishes. I love your videos and keep up the good work. Why thank you. And if you want to win a positive comment shout out and have your comment on the screen in one of these upcoming videos, all you gotta do is drop a positive comment down in the comments down below. I say it every video if you have not done so already. What are you doing? Hit the subscribe button down below. Just tap it and then click the bell right after that and you'll be notified every time I upload. You know, I thought uh, we were done, but we're not yet. We almost forgot, we need to feed them. Yep. Okay. Want to do a quick feeding? Let's do a feeding. I was almost about to put the camera down, but I don't, we forgot. So how does this work? Just handfuls? Yes, yes. Handfuls. Um, I watch for their reaction. You know, certain days they eat more, certain days they eat less. Yep. But they more or less, once the first ones start hitting down, then the others start smelling. Look at these guys are trying to go through the... Nice handful. Wait till she smells that. Uh-oh. She's like... Jumping them up right now. They're going crazy. This this tank here, they go crazy too. Yeah. Oh my God, the dad Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Just 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 drop it in there. You don't have to splash it. Yeah, that might scare them. Just drop it in. There. That's it. That's it. Yep. Just let it go. Oh my God. So that's it, we just literally went around the backside and kept on feeding all these stingrays. It's, it's crazy, but you get the point. This place is unbelievable. Stingray Biology, shout out to Kevin for letting me film here. If you guys do wanna check out his socials, I'll have his Instagram link down below. If you are indeed interested in getting into any freshwater stingrays, you can go to predatoryfins.com as well. And you yeah, got some right stuff, you got stingrays fins. there, right? I do, Okay. all his stingrays. Kevin and him just threw up as we speak, just were like, hey, if they mention Paul, they get a discount. So you can go to predatoryfins.com, if you want a stingray, go to there, throw on my name, and then you get a discount.